this is not alive. I repeat, this is not alive. I am a figment of your imagination. <laughs> All right, Tracy's going to be doing her live in less than 15 minutes, so I am not going to take up much time here. Oh, Ryan's on top of it. Man, I can't sneak nothing past you guys. Hi, Carmen. I said this is not a live. I am a figment of your imagination. You don't see me. <laughs> Um, I'm going to make this really, really quick because um, Tracy's going to go live in a few minutes. So I just wanted to say hi and let you guys know that um, one, two, three, four of my missing packages showed up today. Hi, Gloria. Oh, good. I'm glad you're doing your homework, Ryan. You need to get that done. Hi, Jana. Hi, Sally. Hi, Carmen. That's right, Carmen. You don't see me. You don't hear me. Oh, Chow's here. Oh, yay. Yes, Lisa, I was freaking out because my mail has been held up for a while, and I got four packages in the mail today, so I'm super happy. But this was the one I was really, really looking forward to. So I'm just going to do a really quick unboxing here, and I have a challenge for my viewers. So thank you so much, Lisa. You are awesome. Hi, Christine. Hi, Jody. Hey, Stace. Okay, so I just want to show you guys, these are some of the stamps that I ordered um, from Local King Rubber Stamps, part of their new release, and we have some extra goodies in here, so let me go through them real quick, because Tracy's going live in 15 minutes. Hi, Michelle. So um, when Tracy goes live, you guys will want to go over to her channel. I know she's got some good things that she wants to go over with you. All right, so I'll show you the stamps, and then I'll tell you what extra goodies we have here. All right, so this one you guys already saw um, Steve, uh, Tracy and I play with. This is the Feather Pleasure stamp set. I had so much fun with this stamp set. I did the um, foiling on this. I have some of my samples here for you guys. So I used the um, toner ink, and I foiled those. If you missed that video, I will link it for you guys. Um, but they came out gorgeous. This was using the uh, tie-dye bronze foil here is the larger feather um, but I just had a lot of fun with this stamp set definitely a staple in my collection that I will be doing a lot more with so that is called feather pleasure and I love the um, the matching dies that you can get with it look how large that peacock feather is gorgeous so that is one of the sets okay the second one I haven't played with yet, I'm going to do a video and play with this one. I know some of you guys ordered this one, so I thought maybe we could do a like a stamp along together. Um, this one is Morning Glory, and this one has the beautiful Morning Glory, and it has the solid that we can use those beautiful Local King Rubber Stamps markers with, or it has the outline. Look at these butterflies. Look at the detail and how they look so watercolored. You guys know I have a thing for butterflies. That's my weakness. So, um, And, of course, you can get the dies for that. Cannot wait to do, definitely we'll do a video with this one. Can't wait to play with that. And if you guys have it, comment down below that you have this one. Okay. And then these are the ones that came today. And I'm super excited. It's like Christmas, you guys. Oh, Emily has both of them. Yes, great. So this one is called the Calm um, Combo Set. So this has orchids. You guys, I love orchids. And there we have more butterflies, but I cannot wait to get in. I want to use my color pencils on this one. So doing color pencils with Gamsel, I think will really shade this out nicely. Gorgeous. And then, of course, we have the matching dies for that. But, I mean, these not only just for, I mean, they were designed for slimline, but not just slimline. I mean, you could you could cut these orchids out and layer them and make this very 3D looking. You can put um, action wobblers behind the butterfly. So I'm super excited to make this one very spring. Lots of pops of color in this one. Okay. This one, I just couldn't resist. I thought about you, Ryan, when I got this one. Look at, you know, Ryan was doing those um, embossing folders and making them look 3D. Well, Ryan, honey, that's too much work for me. I'm just going to stamp it. Look at how awesome that looks. Just doing a couple different colors of ink and stamping that. 
And again, it doesn't have to be just a slimline card. You can go any way with this. Oh, look, Elizabeth and, and Ryan are all over it. So this one's called Leaf Veins. And of course, high quality red rubber stamps. You guys got to check out Local King Rubber Stamps YouTube page because they actually show you how they make the stamps. And I was so intrigued with that. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Okay. This one I had to have because you guys know the other weakness I have is what? My, my, my under the sea ocean, you know, scenes. Thank you, Chow. This one's called Coral Reef. And look at this one with all of those beautiful colors doing the, um, what is that called? Joseph's Coat. All of the details in here are just amazing. So doing that Joseph's Coat on this, this is, this is just so pretty. But I got to tell you guys, I think this will look great with not only underwater stamps, but if you have any kind of fairy stamps hint hint I think this will be a great background for that because it looks very florally it doesn't look like it's just coral so you can color this anyway and make it look great with um, underwater scenes or I'm thinking some fairy scenes as well it's just very elegant very pretty lots of fine detail in there and it doesn't look too whimsy I'm not a real whimsy person I look I like where it looks a little more realistic so this is right up my alley so this one's called coral reef love this one I love them all love them all and then this one, again, I thought about Ryan on this one. This one's called Spread. And my head was just running. I'm thinking about this. Okay, so I was thinking, first of all, very organically. If you have somebody that's doing anything... Um, uh, you know, like I was thinking like medical, get well soon. Like to me, this looks like veins and muscles and things like that. But also, if you have any kind of like... Again, I was thinking fairies for some reason, but this looks like tree roots to me. So you could put this at the top and then make this look like tree roots, like have this kind of underwater scene. A lot of you guys have some of those kind of um, squirrel and rabbit stamps, some of those cutesy ones. I thought this would look cute to do a little den underneath, underneath this and have like your little under the ground family set. Oh, Eileen says she has a Plague Doctor stamp said that would work. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, so I just kept looking at this one and I just kept thinking there's so many ideas. How about Halloween? We want to do like creepy tree kind of designs. I mean, this really could be anything you interpret to be and I just kept being drawn back to the image and just kept looking at it and finally I was like okay I gotta have that one but there was a whole bunch of cute ones these are only some of the ones that I took advantage of when they had their sale oh thank you Stacy of course they are stealers black and gold you guys black and gold black and gold anyway um but I just kept looking at all of these, and I, like I said, I know that they're slimline, but you can make them any way you want. And looking at all of these cool dynamic designs here, and I was like, I can make these backgrounds go stretch so far in my card making with the ideas that I had, okay? So not just underwater, but very, very organic looking that you could put these in any, any, any masculine card too. I mean, think about just stamping these out in masculine colors like they have here, like blue, green, oranges, and just putting, thinking of you, get well, happy birthday. We all know guys are really hard to make cards for. Make it simple. You don't have to make it complicated. You don't have to put glitter and sequins all over it. You stamp something out like this and just be like, hey dude, you know, happy birthday, thinking of you, congrats, you know, whatever you wanna do. It's, I just think they're really cool. So that's me. You guys know I like to make things fairly easy. Well, Lisa, being so awesome that she is, she sent me an extra stamp set and this calm combo with the stamp and the die. So I have put on our Facebook group, the Foiling Snobs Club, if you are not a member, you guys want to join Foiling Snobs Club, I want to see... What are your creations with Local King rubber stamps? So please come on over and join our Facebook group. It is Foiling Snobs Club. 
Um, Chow just linked it for you. I want to see your local King Rubber Stamps entries. Any card you want to make from local King Rubber Stamps. And I'm going to be giving these away. So we have four of them to give away um, to you guys. So we have the spread. We have the coral reef. We have the leaf veins. And we have the Calm Combo set. So please join us over at Foiling Snobs Club. And I want to see you guys' creations. And then I'm going to pick out some random winners. I think we'll let it go till... Well, let's see. We have Stamp Wars next Saturday. So maybe we'll let it go until uh, next Sunday. So that'll give you guys a little longer than a week to show me what you guys... You guys know I have a whole drawer of local King Rubber stamps. So... Yeah. So like these are all of Nancy's local King Rubber stamps. So I have collected many, 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 many stamps over the years. And of course I have the lovely markers. If you guys have not tried the markers or if you haven't made your Christmas list yet for hubby to get you something, please put these markers on your list. They make it so easy to color these solid stamps. They are bright. They are easy to use. They're very resilient. They're very good value. I only have the small set. There's a small and the larger set. But the stamps are amazing. And then when you take these markers, it just takes it to a whole nother level. You sure can, Lisa. Go ahead. <laughs> so, um... Put these on your Christmas list if you have not, you know, I know sometimes for us crafters, some of our spouses may not know what to get. Well, you guys, or maybe you don't know what to get for your crafty friends. Get them a set of these markers. It's so worth it, especially when you have these stamps like this that are solid. Let me show you. So like these stamps here where you have the outline stamp here, you have the solid stamp here, almost like a silhouette stamp. It's so easy to color these with the markers. Yes, they're water-based markers, Barbara. And I've tried using other markers and other markers either dry out, the tips fray, or they are too juicy and they just kind of spill everywhere. So these are just right. Hi, Simon, darling. So... Put these on your Christmas wish list if you haven't already got these. You definitely want to try them out. They last a long time. They come in this cute little box, so they're easy to take. If you are going to be traveling, um, hopefully we'll get to travel next summer. The tips on these are felt tips, so they hold up. They last. The markers stay nice and juicy. And even in the 24-pack, of course, try to get as much as you can. But if you just get the 24-pack, a nice variety of colors that you can mix and match. So when you don't, these are great instead of carrying ink around, carry these markers around and color your stamps and stamp with them. And you don't have to huff on them. So they're really, really great. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys what my little stash was and then show you, I will be giving these away. Foiling Snobs Club, please enter. Hi, Lois, please enter on the Foiling Snobs Club. I put a post on there, I wanna see your local King Rubber Stamps cards. Post them on there and I will pick four winners to win these. We'll do it next Sunday. We have Stamp Wars Saturday night. Ryan is hosting. He's super excited. I'm super excited for him. <gasps> wow, okay, Lisa said she's gonna give us a discount code when I do a review. Yes, yes, for you guys. Sounds good. Thank you, Lisa. That way you guys can make your list of what you like, what you see on the page. And then we'll get a discount code from Lisa so you guys can do some shopping. She's so awesome. She's awesome. All right, guys. I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Head on over to Tracy's page, Tracy Schultz at YouTube. She's going to be doing a live. I just couldn't help myself. I had to show you guys these before her live. So head on over there to Tracy's channel. Elizabeth has put the link for Tracy's channel. Thank you so much, Lisa. I will definitely share that in the group with you guys. If you guys have any questions, post them down below. Um, and I will link when we just use the um, Pond Friends in our Stamp Wars. I think that was Stamp Wars number two, our second Stamp Wars. So I will link that at the end of this video. But we will see you guys all over at Tracy's. Bye, guys. <laughs>